hey there everybody how y'all doing hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always um deluxe all right let's do another freaking transformer review because i love some freaking transformers and a big shout out to my boy larkin's layer uh he sold this guy to me this is mastermind creations deadlock uh their version of a shattered glass um drift um a lot of people you know you can use it whatever you want to i like it as a shattered glass uh you know some people get in the comments and say it's not shattered glass. Well, you know what? Use your imagination. You can call it whatever you want to. But I think this is a shattered glass version of their drift and everything. So it looks pretty cool. But yeah, big shout out to Larkin. He sold this to me. I did have the box or anything like that or instructions or anything like that. I think it came with a card too as well. He just came with his weapons and that's all I need. So thank you so much for selling this to me, Larkin. So here he is. Uh, I'll quickly go over what he comes with real quick. So he comes with a rifle. Very nicely done. Nice sculpt. Got this nice... um. I guess gold kind of, you know, kind of puke green, maybe, you know, pea suit green and some little gray paint right there. Nice sculpt on the weapon. As you saw, it does store right here. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with two of his swords, the two swords. So let's see if I can pull these out and everything. There we go. And one more. Come on now. Oh, there. oh it's tabbed in right there. So, yeah. That's why it wouldn't, it wouldn't slide out that well. But anyways, very nicely done on these as well. Nice black, like kind of a chrome, almost like a chrome almost like that. You got a little of that pea soup green, pea soup green right there, but kind of a black, um, you know, a nice chrome to it or something like that. I guess it's chrome or metallic paint, something like that. But you get two of those and they tab underneath. Like I said, they do tab right here and go under there. That's pretty cool. Now this is older. This is, I, I forgot when this came out, you know, 2020 2021 something like that i don't know but love love the car mode looks good i like the drift mode it's really nicely done uh you got some nice i love this translucent kind of red reddish orange right here for the cockpit it does open but nothing really in there at all so you know so that's good you got some uh nice this like the pea green kind of a goldish kind of uh, thing right there mine's a little scratch up there right there and the white is where it scratches a little there uh, so yeah, very nice. Uh, you got the nice gray plastic red paint right there Looks good up here. looks very nice. I like it. I like a sleek, you know, like a futuristic, you know Cybertronian car mode looks really good. You got underneath you can turn the head around if you want to I just left it like that but Very nice. It rolls decent. You know, you got these and you got the half a wheel that rolls You know, you got on uh, two sides or anything. Um, this is a smooth surface, but you can see it's rolling a little bit So it will roll. it will roll just fine Got some nice uh, paint right here, kind of a darker gray right there, and the, that you know goldish top and everything. You do got some tail lights, which is red, which I like that very nice. So yeah, very cool. So yeah, I like it. So there you go. This is MMC uh, Deadlock in his uh, alt mode, and I think it looks freaking sweet. I like it. And there is Fans Toys Jazz, and you got the Alternator's Hot Rod for some scale reference. All right.
All right, back for transformation. Here is Mastermind Creations. Uh, I didn't mention the third part name, I don't think, at the beginning. It's called Ada Beta, I think, Arter Beta, something like that. Uh, this is Deadlock. Uh, this is IDW. You know, they were all big in the IDW stuff. And here he is. I like him. All right. They got tons of recolors and retools of this guy. Uh, the Drift Mold. I think I, I do have the Drift. I did a review here back in, you know, four or five years ago. This guy's about four or five years as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. The front, I do love the head sculpt. Looks good. You got some gray, you got some nice gold throughout, kind of that goldish green, I guess if you want to call it. Nice red eyes. Looks good. Uh, you can look down a little bit, not much up at all, side to side, and you can get a little add to as well, but it's a nice head sculpt. Got some white paint. I do got some scratches on that and right there it's used and everything. So got some gray, some red down here. Once again, mold. You do have the big old eighties women working shoulder pads. Uh, they're on ball pegs. So you can go all the way up to here. Nice hinge up right there. You can go up to there and right there, and they can go up a little bit too as well. So nice range right there. Go all the way around. It's a little tight. Giggity. Um, you do have like a butterfly, you know, the little wiggle waggle. You do got some butterfly joint right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, you do got a nice elbow bend for right there. You got some nice paint right there throughout. Looks good. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel, a swivel of the hands, and a little wiggle waggle up and down, side to side. Very nice. You do have movement. Uh, the booger picker is by itself, and then you got the other three fingers are on a single pin. The thumb does not move. All right. So you got the, uh, you move these up right here. You do have a waist swivel. Now the canopy back here, you can move that away. It's on a hinge. So you can move that up and everything. So you can get a nice range of the waist swivel. And you have to move these uh, scabbards, I guess. I think that's what they're called for the, you know, swords. Uh, but you do get a nice there. I don't think you have an ab crunch. No ab crunch. Move that back up. These are on a ball peg and a hinge as well. So you can get movement right there and up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. You can get them out of the way. You do got some flaps right there and right there. So kind of stuff moves out of the way. Just like Iron Factory, you got to move stuff out of the way to get some you know, articulation. So you can get up to there. Then you can move these out of the way. They get in the way, but you can go back as well. You do have a thigh. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the, you can go out to about right there. You get to about the full van dam. You can get those, looks like these will get out of the way. Just be careful. You do got some nice gray paint, some red paint. Uh, also down here as well for the feet. Uh, you do have a nice knee bend. Once again, you gotta move these out of the way to double knee and get that. So that's nice. Got the nice knee pads uh, with the feet you get up down and you got a nice rocker and you do have a swivel now you do have a ball peg right here and then you have a ball peg right there for the foot too so you get a little wiggle waggle and a little toe tilt up as well all right move these out of the way move these down like that and there you go in the back you know these are you know you got the nice exhaust or whatever you know thrusters and you got all this back here no waffles which is good so you can put the swords in here and store them for the weapons and you can hold them basically just held in as friction they don't tab or anything like that you just kind of push them down kind of open up the fingers a little bit and then you can put them down they hold them just fine so that's good and same with the the gun that he comes with let me put this in here like that that's cool kind of lock in right there so with this same thing, you just um, kind of, you have to open up the hands and you kind of just put it in there and you close the fingers around it and it's really held on by tension. It didn't tab it or anything like that. And let's see if I can get this to do it right. Okay. And there you go. So you can hold that, very nice. Uh, you can store it in the back just like you did in um, alt mode. A little tab right there and you can just if you move this down a little bit like that you can store the gun right there i think you can yeah so you can store it right there as well so you have options and that's always good so there you go there is deadlock in his uh bot mode and articulation man he's got some 80s one working shoulder pads and there's MP44 Optimus Prime. You got Shatter uh, from Metagate. You got X-Transpots, Runabout, and Runamuck. And then you got uh, MP Sideswipe as well. Then you got the MMC, uh, Rosanna, and Flipside. And then also got Tiss McGee, Retgar for some scale. And Crappy Gonnets, Crappy Toolpaper, AAA Battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks. More scale.
Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, really appreciate that. All right, final thoughts on MMC, MMC Deadlock. Um, I know there's an older mold. Um, big shout out once again to Larkin, uh, Larkin's Lair. Really good dude. Sold this to me a great price. I missed out on a bunch of the uh, old older MM, MMC stuff and everything. I, I got a couple here and there, uh, but I always, you know, if I get, you know, if I can find some older MMC stuff that people are selling, I, I'm definitely into buying that stuff. So yeah, if you have anything, you know, that you want to get rid of MMC from the older, you know, five six years ago, you know, hey, hit me up. I may, uh, I may buy that. But yeah, really like this mold. I like the drift mold. It looks good. And like I said, this is kind of the shattered glass version of drift. Uh, love it every day. I love the car mode. It's really good. Uh, Transformation is easy and fun. Um, bot mode looks good. Love the weapons. I love the chromed out uh, swords. The black chrome on that just looks good. The you know the gun looks good. Um, I was watching a review and there was a red clear version that came with it too as well. I guess that was a special edition one or something like that. I, I didn't get that one. Uh, that would be cool to have that too as well. I love some transparent stuff. Um, but yeah, you know the um, paint looks good on. You know I got some scratches here and there, but that, it's fine. Um, Articulate is really good. We do got the big 80s one with working shoulder pads. Um, it's just stuff that kind of gets in the way a little bit. You know, these uh, uh, things for the swords, uh, the scabs, I think that's what it's called, scab scabs, something like that. Um, they kind of get in the way sometimes, you know. And But, you know, you can move them out of the way. You know, they're on ball pegs and everything, so that's good. Um, yeah, overall, materials feel good still after being four or five years old. So I, I like it. I really, I really want to find some of the older stuff, you know, some of the exclusives too from Tiacon that they did. That'd be, re you know, be pretty cool too as well. So, yeah, I hope you like my little throwback and little review. Uh, hit me up some like, share, parents, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments and tell me your thought of the review. If you got this guy and what do y'all think of him? And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking MMC, man. Like some MMC, man. It's a good company. Good night, folks.